guys so excuse my hair um i just got out of the shower before i filmed this makeup look and i've been wanting to film a prom tutorial um makeup for prom tutorial but my problem is i have contacts on so once i have like my makeup on for the day like I just uh it's just I don't know I don't like taking it all off and then putting it right back on and then taking it off so especially with contacts on just because it's I don't know it irritates my contacts I don't know if it's how it is for you guys at all but yeah so we got home oh excuse me I'm kind of like it's like a burp but what time is it we got home like at five and I already ate so whilst my family was eating dinner I went to take a shower and I wiped, took off my contacts, wiped off all my makeup and I got out and I was like, hey, the sun's still out, sun's still good, like, I think I'm just going to film this video now. So that's what I did. I was going to do a hair, but there's not much I can do with my hair and I wouldn't know what to do. So, but if you want to know how to make, to, oh, if you want to know how to do this makeup, just keep watching. And Okay, I'm gonna be using the Five in the First Aid Beauty um, Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. Um, I used this one instead of my Five in One one, my Five in One face cream, because this one has SPF 30, and I'm sure you guys know um, it's not that great if you if your makeup has SPF in it, because it reflects when you take pictures. The flash, it will. Um, make your face just look really stark white and so if I'm like doing my makeup for someone who's like going to a wedding or going to a dance or prom like this um, I always use stuff foundation concealer moisturizer that does not have any SPF in it <clears throat> I'm gonna use this uh, Smashbox Photo finish prime prime primer water thing. Yeah. And I'm just gonna spray this on my face. Just to get okay. So it's supposed to be that before, so well, I'm gonna use my benefit professional. Sorry if I just shook the camera a little bit. And I'm gonna pour some not a lot, not that much on my hand. And I put it all over my face just because I also use this as a primer. But if you are just using it to hide your pores, just put it where you have like the most pores. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my Lorac Gold Unzipped Palette. Looks, oh, just scratch some scratch some of the eyeshadow. Um, it looks like this and it just has some really pretty colors in it. I'm going to take my eye primer. You can use whatever primer you want. Um, I like using this one. This is the Tarte CC colored clay and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. Now I'm going to take um, this color right here and it is undressed and I'm going to use, not this brush, I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Eye Sweep brush and I'm, oh my god, really pigmented and I'm just going to sweep that all over my whole like eyelid. Just so that way it's not so rough and so that way our colors, like our crease color and stuff we're gonna blend in, it'll blend in a lot easier because we've got that color so it's not so like sticky. All right, now I'm going to use, what should I use? I think I can use you. This is my Sephora. I don't know which brush it is. It doesn't have a name on it. But it looks like that. 
And it's just kind of like a flat shade of brush. Now I'm going to take the color Unlimited, which is kind of like a gold, light gold. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really pretty. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. Actually, no. I'm going to put that in the center of my lid. Just the center. Is it bad that I haven't even figured out what I'm going to do yet? I'm just kind of winging it. Okay. I really like the way that looks. Just in the center. Okay. And now I'm just going to kind of clean off that brush a little bit. And then I'm going to take Unlocked, which is a very light, shimmery color. And I'm going to put that on the inside. On the inner corner or inner third of my lid and then I'm going to take un unleashed which is this one right here clean off that brush again and take some of that and I'm going to put it on the outer third of my lid and I'm just kind of like blending it into that uh, unlimited we had in the center okay okay so I'm gonna take my real techniques um, this is the base shadow brush and I'm gonna take none of these I'm gonna use um, my Too Faced natural matte palette and I'm going to take the color Nudie, which is this one, and I'm going to place that all in my crease just as a transition. Alright, so that's just there as a transition color. Now, I'm going to go back to my Lorac Gold unzipped palette and I'm gonna use unwind which is this matte brown and it's a little bit darker than that um, nudie that we just put and I'm just gonna put this focus I'm just gonna put this on the outer V a bit and blend it in just slightly I don't know what brush this is, but it's just this really big fat blah, 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 oh, blah, really big fat brush, and I'm just going to blend that in. Now I'm going to use this brush by Sephora. It's just like a pencil brush, and I'm going to take. I think I'm gonna take Unafraid, which is this. You can't really tell, but it's really dark and it's shimmery, and we're gonna hope this goes well. So just tap off the excess. And I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna put it on the water, not waterline, but oh my god, focus on the upper lash line, and then kind of bring it into the outer V. If you want, I was going to, but I didn't have my tape. You can put tape, and that'll give you a really clean line. Um, but yeah, I could put my tape. And then I'm just gonna use that same blending brush and blend that in. Now, I think I want it a little bit more deeper, so I'm gonna use uh, this brush, and I'm gonna take Unedited, which is basically like Unafraid, just the matte version and because I'm using a different brush it's gonna it should apply a bit better and blending brush and blend it out just like that and that is it for eyeshadow now for my brow bone highlight, I'm going to be using this um, highbrow glow by Benefit. I don't know if there's different shades of this. 
I don't think there is. But I'm just gonna put this on the brow bone, you know. I'm going to do my classic winged liner. Um, to do that, I use my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Proof Eyeliner. I'm going to draw a nice, simple, straight line across my lash line. Then I take the, the, the thing and I usually align it with my nose, like especially if I'm doing it on someone else and I don't know, like mine I can just like do it right now because I already know where my line is. If you don't know where your perfect angle is, put your like utensil, whatever, um, put it against your nose and then have it to where it connects to your brow bone and that's that natural angle, not brow bone, the end of your brow, and that's that natural angle you want to use. It's kind of like a guideline. So I just draw the line, and then I connect it. And then I touch up on the bottom, just kind of pick it up a little more. Why did the light just go back? Light, what are you doing? Okay. So that was a lot thicker than I planned it to be. Um, just do your wings to your own comfort. So yeah, I'm gonna move on to my I'm gonna move on to my foundation because I don't wanna curl my lashes and do my mascara right now just because this is since it is a liquid, although it is felt up, it is still a liquid. So if you I mean depending on your eye shape, um, but I found that if I curl my lashes right after I've done that, especially if like I do it to the eye I just did, it tends to come off on the thing because it's wet and yeah. So I'm just going to move on to the rest of my face. Apply a concealer. I'm just going to use my NARS Creamy Concealer. And I'm going to apply that just under my eyes. You can use whatever concealer you want. Um, I would say use this with a damp beauty blender. I mean, yeah, use it with a damp beauty blender. I'm going to try and see if I just spray it with this um, primer water and hope that this still gets stamped. I just think beauty blenders blend so much better when they're wet. So yeah, I'm just gonna blend that out. Ooh. God, stop. Okay, I'm gonna like focus it on me. So, like autofocus. Just remember, stop with the lighting. Okay. <sighs> foundation. Um, currently, I don't have a foundation that matches my skin that does not have any SPF in it. So I'm just gonna use my Tarte Amazonian Clay um, Full Coverage Foundation. So that's why I'm using this. But. If you want to use this, that's, that's cool. I mean, sure, it'll be fine. Okay, so I just get some on the back of my hand. I actually put a way too much than I usually do. And I just put spots all over my face. And then I save some on my hand. Like that. And I just save some, and you'll see what I'll do with that later. But I'm just going to blend that in with a beauty blender.
And then with that leftover foundation on my hand, I'm going to use that to blend it down onto my neck. I'm just going to use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I think it's a concealer. It doesn't really say what it is. Oh, it's an eraser. I was looking at the Spanish side. <laughs> um, the eraser of dark circles, but I just have it in the Brightener Illuminator and I just use that as a really quick highlight, cream highlight. So I put that right there. My cheekbone, there. Cheekbone, down the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and then some on my forehead. Then I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender and blend that in. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Royal Techniques powder brush. This is gigantic, dang, I haven't used it yet. Um, so yeah. So I'm just gonna swirl it. This is really heavy, heavier than I thought it was. And I'm just gonna apply this powder all over my face. Now I'm gonna take my Roll Techniques, uh, uh, this is their metal collection. I'm not sure what this is called, but this is the 300 brush and it just looks like this and it's very nice for sculpting. Um, I think I'm just going to use my Hula bronzer just to throw it back. Okay. Blush for blush, I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush, and this is in Dim Fusion. I just love this just because it already has a bit of a highlight in it. I mean, of course, we're gonna add more highlight after, but it already has some highlight in it, and highlight just looks really good in pictures. Oh, I love the way highlight looks in pictures. Like, when it captures the light, oh, it looks so good so good okay so yeah just like that so this brush I don't know who it's by it's just a simple blush I mean brush and I'm gonna use my Tarte Parkave Parkave Princess Parkave I don't know but I'm just gonna use the highlighter from that and I'm gonna put it there right there down my nose, cupid's bow, chin, and forehead. And that is pretty much it for my face. Very simple, I'm just gonna go in with my powder brush and just kind of blend everything in a little bit better. So I'm gonna give my lashes a curl. This is the Sephora, I don't know, but it's a Sephora eyelash curler. And I'm just curling them. Now I find that, okay, I just purchased this, um, the Benefit Roller Lash one, and this one holds curl so great. I am pretty lucky to already have pretty naturally curly lashes, but if you don't, um, applying this after you do your curling, um, just really helps hold that curl, just because... If you're like me and you like layering mascaras, this is a really good one to put as a base, especially after you've curled them, because it really just holds those lashes. No, holds the curl. Now I'm going to use my actual mascara, my favorite mascara duo. Um, I'm going to use 
my Benefit Their Real Mascara. For this, um, just because this is a very thick and it's not a plastic brush, it is a actual hairy brush, but I love this, especially if you're like me and you have really thin lashes, this just thickens them up and I love it. Okay. Now for brows. I'm just going to do something really simple. I'm not going to like use my Anastasia. I'm just going to use my brow pencil. So I use a spoolie to brush them out. And now I'm going to... I have it in dark brown, I believe. Medium brown. And I'm going to just fill in my brows. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel just to set my brows. Okay, lips. I usually do this step like before I start my whole face. Apply a chopstick. I forgot. Okay. Really, you can do whatever you want with the lips. I tried to do my eyes as neutral as I could, so that way you could do whatever you wanted with your lips. I think I'm just going to apply a baby pink color. This is the YSL lipstick in, I don't know. I think Rouge, I don't know. I have no idea. But it looks like this. And it looks very dark, but I promise, like, when it's on your lips, it just comes out like a baby pink. Not baby pink, but just the pink. So yeah, that's just what I decided to go with. Um, as I said, you can go with whatever color you want. I just want it really simple and easy. So yeah, that is it for this makeup tutorial for prom. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want some more talk through tutorials, let me know and I will definitely do them. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!